Kevin Stefanski talked to the media. He talked about the Browns getting ready to go into Arrowhead to face the Kansas City Chiefs. Game week, so we've got a big challenge this week going into Arrowhead Stadium. Uh, really well coached team, uh, really across the board on offense, defense, special teams. They have great players. Uh, so our preparations are underway. Had uh, meetings this morning, walk through, and then we'll get out here for practice this afternoon. Yeah, so we've been working crowd noise really since the spring, uh, just because we felt like going into this year without teams dealing with crowd noise for a full calendar year, we needed to make sure that we were on point in our communication and our silent count. We were on the silent count in Arrowhead last time we were there in the playoffs, even with whatever it was, 20,000. So we know it's going to be loud. Uh, you kind of deal with it matter-of-factly and understand what you're walking into uh, and really just have to make sure that our preparation, our communication, our operation is on point. Let's welcome in Doug LaMaurice, columnist for The Plain Dealer and Cleveland.com. And, Doug, um, it's here. Game week uh, is moving forward. Um, th that's something I didn't even think about in leading up to this game is uh, the crazy crowd that's going to be waiting for the Browns at Arrowhead. No, it is, it's one of the reasons why this is extra tough. I mean, again, this is the toughest game on their schedule because of team and because of venue, right? That it's Patrick Mahomes in a place that gets nuts for football. So it is really everything you could ask for, for a test for the Browns right off the bat. And it's going to be really hard for them to check every box because there, uh, there are a lot of boxes to check in this one. I just did have a flash, though watching Kevin Stefanski and just thinking to myself, he seems like the kind of guy, right? Like, yeah, we get it. He's handsome. We get it. But he's got, he's not even 40 yet. He's got kind of the gray and the beard. I bet you he's going to look exactly the same 20 years from now. He will not age at all. And I just was thinking like this whole thing, like Kevin Stefanski talking about getting ready for a year, we're going to do this again in 2028. Then we're going to get to do it in 2034. Then we're going to do it in 2039. Then it's just going to be normal. And it's like, now we're kind of like, ooh, Kevin Stefanski, a big game for the Browns. And like, we're just going to be at a point where it's like, oh, yeah, the Browns are good. They're playing another big game. Kevin Stefanski is a good coach, whatever. And like, isn't it kind of fun to think about that future? I just had a moment, Dave. I just had a moment and I, and I wanted to reflect, you know? Fair enough. And, and you know what? We'll take that for 20 years for what we've been through the previous 20 years, uh, getting ready for openers. Think about that for a minute, huh? <laughs> 